Welcome to the charming little city of Rogue River, Oregon, where the small town charm, friendly folks, and natural beauty will steal your heart. I'm blessed to call this little town home, so I'm gonna show you around and cover some of the highlights of Rogue River, Oregon, so you can see for yourself why the locals rave about this place. As a matter of fact, I recently asked on the unofficial Rogue River City Facebook group, what's your favorite thing about living in Rogue River? And I was flooded with well over 100 comments with responses like the people, the small town vibe, the incredible food, more on that soon, and the sense of community. And the stories started pouring in about neighbors helping neighbors. And it was just so refreshing to read all those experiences and know that places like this still exist. And I am excited to tell you more about it. Welcome to my hometown. I'm Brian Simmons and I'm a real estate agent here in Southern Oregon. And in this video, I'm gonna share highlights of Rogue River, Oregon as we continue to explore parts of Southern Oregon on my YouTube channel. Speaking of, make sure to like and share this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos where we explore parts of Southern Oregon. Now, the city of Rogue River, Oregon is the quintessential small town America with a rich sense of community. When you go to the grocery store, you're gonna bump into a friend or neighbor. When you go to the hardware store, you're gonna be greeted by someone who knows exactly what you're looking for and knows how to help you find it. When you go to the local restaurant, the owner either knows your name or is gonna ask where you're visiting town from. So if you're looking for a town that has just a little slower pace where the car in front of you is gonna stop and let that family cross the road safely, where the person in front of you in line at the grocery store is gonna let you go ahead because you only have a couple items, if that's what you've been dreaming of, then this is the town that you are going to love. It is a throwback to yesteryear. So settle in while I show you what makes Rogue River, Oregon one of the greatest little small towns in the West. I'm here at the Coyote Evans Wayside in John Fleming Memorial Park, which is right next to the Depot Street Bridge you were just looking at. The park here is a fantastic place to access the beautiful Rogue River that you see behind me, which the town is obviously named after. The river flows from its headwaters that come from the various springs around Crater Lake all the way to the Pacific Ocean in Gold Beach, which is about 215 miles. This park is really the only place in the town of Rogue River where you can access the actual Rogue River. So it's a pretty popular spot for folks who wanna go fishing or rafting or hop on a jet ski and go for a cruise up the river. You could also fish from the bank here or cool off with a dip here at the park. But if you do that, please be careful because it's obviously very deceptively fast and powerful, the water here. So if you wanna stay dry, maybe check out the big grass area for a picnic or the horseshoe pit over on the other side of the park or hop across the bridge and go on the paved greenway trail that takes you all the way from Rogue River to Valley of the Rogue State Park and beyond. And if you don't mind a few stretches of road, you can actually take the greenway all the way into the Bear Creek Greenway Trail system near Central Point and follow that all the way to Ashland. So that's just one of the many great recreational opportunities that the city of Rogue River offers. Another great one is the Mountain of the Rogue mountain biking trail system, which has a network of single track trails that will keep you busy for a long time. There's of course plenty of other opportunities like fishing and rafting and boating and all the fun stuff that the Rogue River and the local creeks offer. But let's head over and check out the downtown area. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about Rogue River, Oregon and what it has to offer. So this is the corner of Depot Street and Main Street here in the heart of Rogue River. Main Street is, well, believe it or not, the main street that runs through the town of Rogue River. And on holidays like Memorial Day and Veterans Day and Independence Day, it's lined with hundreds of American flags. And it's a really beautiful site and a great way to honor our local veterans. It's on the top of my list of my favorite things about Rogue River as well. Not only are the streets lined with hundreds of American flags, but they're also lined with great businesses like Tail Holt Coffee Company right across the street here. Here's a fun fact for you. The city of Rogue River was actually originally named Tail Holt back in the early 1800s because it was a river crossing where folks had to hold on to the tails of their horses to get across the river. Remember what I was saying earlier about the fast moving water that you gotta be careful of? So that's what it was called way back when. Then in 1872, they actually changed the name to Woodville. Then in 1912, they changed it to Rogue River. If you're interested in the history of Rogue River, I'll include a link in the description of this video to another video that the city of Rogue River had created back on their centennial year of 2012. And it goes into more depth about the history of the town, which is really nice. Since we're here in the downtown area, let me tell you a little bit more about the town and what it has to offer. I'll start with the restaurants because that's something that I know everybody wants to know about. Rogue River has 
very good food for a town of its size. Paisano's Italian restaurant was just voted the Reader's Choice Best Italian Food in Southern Oregon in 2023, and Taquiera La Guacamaya is one of the best Mexican restaurants in Southern Oregon, and I know lots of people who drive by every Mexican restaurant in Grants Pass to come here to the little hole in the wall in Rogue River. It's worth the drive. We also have great pizza at Bocce's, great breakfast at Bee Gees, and if you can believe it, we actually have a pretty solid sushi restaurant here in Rogue River as well. We have a big grocery store, an amazing hardware store, an auto parts store, post office, fire station, police station, and even a museum. So all of the conveniences that you need, Rogue River has them. So there's no need to drive all the way to Grants Pass from Medford to grab a gallon of milk, even though Grants Pass is less than 10 minutes away. That's actually one of my favorite things about Rogue River is that I-5 runs right through it. So it's very convenient to be able to jump to Grants Pass, which is like I said, less than 10 minutes, or drive over to Medford, which only takes about 20 minutes. So now let's cruise over to one of my favorite little neighborhoods, and I'm gonna tell you about the Rogue River real estate market. Welcome to the Foothill States neighborhood, and I love this little neighborhood because it is just a great example of the types of homes available in Rogue River. Most homes in this neighborhood were built in the 2010s and they're around 1,400 square feet, three bed, two bath, and they've been selling in the upper 300,000s, but staying under that 400,000 mark. There's a lot of different options around here though, from nice little neighborhoods like this to stunning riverfront estates, to rural properties where you can have an acre or two, to sprawling ranches where you can have hundreds of acres. So Rogue River truly has something for everyone. Another question you're probably wondering is about the schools and if Rogue River schools are good. Well, Rogue River does have schools. They have an elementary school, a middle school, and a high school. And like anywhere, I think the opinion on how good the schools are depends on who you ask and what their experience was. For me personally, I attended Rogue River School District from kindergarten to 12th grade, and it only took me 15 years to graduate. Just kidding. <laughs> but I did graduate from Rogue River and I went on to college at the University of Oregon. And a lot of my classmates went on to other great schools like Stanford and Johns Hopkins and went on to do great things, including a few of them as doctors. So my experience was good, but I'd encourage you to do your own research and even reach out to the school district themselves. I'm really excited to show you our next stop though and tell you about the ridiculously crazy annual festival that Rogue River hosts every year. I am at the newest park in the city of Rogue River called Rooster Park and it's named Rooster Park because it's the site of the annual Rooster Crow competition and festival. And you heard that right, I said Rooster Crow competition. Every year near the end of June, locals gather around for the competition and bragging rights to see who can get their rooster to crow the most times in 15 minutes or whatever the time frame is. It's hilarious and a lot of fun to watch the guys dancing around and doing whatever they can to try to get their roosters to crow. In addition to the competition, the festival has all sorts of different booths and games and food and music and a lot of fun stuff to do just to go have a good time. So if you're in town around the end of June, come stop by and don't forget that rooster. Now, when it's not rooster crow season, the park is just a great little hangout. They're putting some finishing touches on it right now, but it has this big pavilion area here that we're standing under, a splash pad behind us for the kids that I think everyone in town is pumped to hear about, and really just a great little park overall and nice little way to cool off. If that splash pad doesn't cut it for you though, what do you see the next stop? Because I've got another really good option for you. Welcome to Palmerton Park. And we're on the swinging bridge right above Evans Creek, which runs right through the park here and creates a awesome swimming hole that I'm gonna show you here in a second. And I remember swimming here all the time as a kid. And it is a great option because it's slower moving water and not as cold as the Rogue River. So it's pretty popular. The park here is about five acres and has lots of other great amenities too, like a big playground and a group area that can actually be rented out for parties through the city of Rogue River. It's loaded with over 80 different types of trees and tons of plants and nice walking paths and just some beautiful scenery that creates a really incredible backdrop for things like family photos. So if you're looking for a fun place to take the kids to burn some energy, this is a great option. Speaking of burning energy, that was one heck of a tour and I am wiped. I hope you enjoyed this video and found some value in the highlights of Rogue River, Oregon, my hometown. I have so many great memories of the areas here, like this one right here behind me, swimming in Palmerton Park when I was a kid and experiencing the great town that I grew up in. Again, I'm Brian Simmons with eXp Realty here in Southern Oregon. And if there's anything I can do to help you learn, buy, or list real estate in Southern Oregon, I hope you won't hesitate to reach out. There's a link in the description of this video to set up an online meeting with me. Click that and let's find a time to meet. Or if it's easier to call or text, my direct number is 541-954-7758. I'm creating new videos every week as we explore parts of Southern Oregon. So subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that bell icon so you can catch the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.